Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick. 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, and just so wise. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Super! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, Ready. our referee for this Ready. Good. Well, there can be few better backdrops for a mixed martial arts live event than this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. Because every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Get those combinations going. Hold those hands. Just misses with the straight right. Lunges forward with a left there. What a beautiful body kick. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Now he's got the single collar and the clutch. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab. 
after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Just over three minutes now to go. Punch over the top. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. All right, let's go. Look to set up that low kick now. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Fighter lands a kick to the head now. Oh, another nice combination there. Not sure if it was the three-piece and a soda or what it was, but he is in a flow state here. Oh, he is moving and grooving tonight. He's feeling good. But look at the footwork. Look at the feigning of the shoulders. And then when he starts, right, he may not go right away. But when he goes, it's going to be an extended combination. Watch for him to try to finish it. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chance. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Wow, what a head kick. Well, that's a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He's got to start throwing down. of his size as he lands the knee. Outstanding knee there by Lee. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily... Under a minute to go. Out of range with that one. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, what a kick! Back to the well with the uppercut, now it's true. Guess the single collar tie now. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. That was Final seconds. Yeah. Five minutes in the books. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Big shot to the body. There's another one. Oh, the head kick land. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. 
Well, he has been nothing if not masterful on the feet this evening, and a lot of his effectiveness has been because of that jab. He established it early, and that helped to set up some of his combinations, but you look at the numbers bottom of your screen, the jab has really been the primary storyline in this one. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, now lands a kick to the bottom. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. He gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Try to establish that jab. Under three to go round two. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really. Start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Big power shot there. Oh, good block there. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Going with the kick to the body, he's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under two minutes to go. Beautiful punch lands there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, it's one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that finish. Superman punch is good. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Oh, back and forth we go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh. Round three next. Hey, stop. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous 
two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. It's a nice jab by him there. Lee's now switching his stance. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just missed with the left there. to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Just over three minutes to go now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Big punch land. All oh, right, well, you can see in plain sight here, his leg is hurt, starting to limp a little bit. Yeah, you're starting to see him limping. I mean, you take so many leg kicks, you, you're going to fall. That's the best leg kick ever. That's horrible. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Big right hand there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Just out of range with that right hook. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Fighter lands a jab. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Good shot, good shot. Under two minutes to go in round three. Nice inside leg kick, yeah. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. That was a beautiful head kick. Nice jab there. Lee's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. One minute now to go on the third. Big clutch lands through the middle. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Oh, you land, I land, is that what we're doing here? Final seconds of the round. Oh. Next three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many Ready more of these shots, this Ready. fight is going to be stopped due to this one. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. That's a jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer opponent. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Just missed with the elbow there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, this is not good. That right eye starting to shut. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Able to land the left hand there. Great kick to the body. Keep your hands up Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lead hook is good by Lee. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Fast leg kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, nice straight left. Wow! Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Fighter lands a nasty well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, the kick landed. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Both guys appeared to land there. 
just out of range with that strike. Perfect execution on that team. Under is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Continuing to work the body here. Huh. He's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Push kick there to the body. Difficult for the opposition now as the fighter continues to target that damaged nose. Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take these. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. <laughs> Establishing the jab here. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, nice right hand. Under three minutes remain in round five. Straight punch is good. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finisher and you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Switch kick. He's got that single collar tie. Side kick now. Nice entry there, and able to finish. Lee's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Nice punch to the head. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
thigh. Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds. Work. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, super. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores this contest, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee with authority is your winner here.